Good morning, scholars. Welcome back to the channel. We're continuing our look at sets. So this morning we're going to be looking at the Venn diagram and seeing how sets intersect, as well as looking at sets that do not intersect. And we're also going to be answering some questions based on the, the Venn diagram. So this diagram that I have here, the rectangle with circles, Inside the rectangle, this is called a Venn diagram and it is used to represent sets and the different subsets. So, looking at the key, set A is a set of students who do aerobics, right? Set B, students who do badminton and set C, students who do chess. So, more than likely, these are activities that are after school. So some students will take badminton, some take aerobics, some take chess, some take both, some take neither. So this sign means intersection and this sign means union. So the intersection is where we have two sets overlapping with each other and the members in the intersection participate in both activities. The union is if we were to list all the members of set A, all the members of set B. The union of A and B would be everybody in A, everybody in B. And those who overlap, we just need to list them once. We don't have to list them again for each set. So the union, we just list everybody in that set, everybody in the other. And the ones who overlap, just once we list them. So, remember... Everybody in the, in the circle that's marked A, everybody in this circle does aerobics, right? Shelby, Ronaldo, Blake, Lizzie, and Marsha, all of them do aerobics. Everybody in, in the B circle does badminton. Lizzie, Marsha, Mary, Andre, they do badminton. So do you see that two students do badminton and aerobics? So, so where the aerobics overlaps the badminton, we have Lizzie and Marsha. They do aerobics and badminton. Well, hopefully on different days of the week, these students do chess, right? So what would we say about these students out here? They are part of the universal set. So the universal set means all the people who we're considering, all the elements that we're thinking about for this session, right? Everybody that we're considering. However, they are not part of either of the, the three sets. They don't do aerobics, they don't do badminton, they don't do chess but they're still students at that school. All right, so we're going to use the information that we have in the Venn diagram to answer these questions. All right, so the first question says, how many students are in the universal set? So it's asking you for an actual number. It's not saying list the, the elements of the universal set. Some of the questions are asking you to list them, but this question is asking how many, how many students are in the universal set. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven students. Eleven students are in the universal set. Which two students don't do badminton, chess, or aerobics? Which two students don't do either badminton, chess, or aerobics? So that would be Barry and Sheldon. They, they are not a member of either of those sets. Barry and Sheldon. Which two students do only badminton? Only badminton. So we don't want the parts of badminton that overlaps with aerobics. We want only badminton. So that would be these, these here. Because remember, Lizzie and Marsha, 
They do badminton, but they also do aerobics. And the question says, only badminton. So it would be Mary and Andre. Andre and Mary do only badminton. Okay. Who does aerobics but not badminton? Aerobics but not badminton. So we don't want the part of aerobics that overlap with badminton. We don't want this. We don't want the intersection. Just aerobics, not badminton. So that would be Shelby, Ronaldo, and Blake. Shelby, Ronaldo, and Blake. They do aerobics, but they don't do badminton. So they are not in the part of aerobics that overlaps with badminton. All right, now we're being asked to list the elements or the members of these sets. So who is in set A? Who are all the children in set A? Set A, this is the circle for set A. Okay? So that Shelby, Ronaldo, Blake, I remember these are in set A too, Lizzie and Marshall. So there are five students, we put our curly brackets, we are about to list the elements. We are listing them. Shelby, Ronaldo, so this is set A, Blake, Lizzie, and Marshall. These are the students in set B. The students in set B, so this is the B circle. Students in set B, so that would be Lizzie, Marshall, Mary, and Andre. All right, set C, so this is set C, that's set C, so we have Patrick and Paula. So you notice that set C is this joint, it's this joint with the other sets, it does not overlap the other two sets. When sets don't overlap, they just exist by themselves within the universal set we we'll say that they are disjointed. All right, so nobody who does chess does anything else. They only do chess, right? So maybe chess is just too demanding. They just have to focus on chess only. So A intersect B. Who does aerobics and also badminton? Who does aerobics as well as badminton? So that would be where the sets intersect Lizzie and Marsha. Lizzie and Marsha do aerobics and badminton. Who does aerobics and chess? Are there any students who do aerobics and also do chess? No. Remember, chess is this joint from the others. So the students who do aerobics and chess would be an empty set. So we can use that empty curly brackets or we can say, we can use this symbol, a circle with a diagonal line to say no members are in that set. There are no students who do chess and aerobics. All the students who do chess, they do only chess, nothing else. All right? And that's how we read our Venn diagram, right? The universal set, we have all the members who are being considered. But some of those members might not belong to any of the sets or the subsets. They might just be there in the universal set, but not a member of 
this set. Some persons are members of both sets. Or we could even have three sets overlapping. Right? We could have them overlapping like this. Where you have some people who do all three things. And then these persons would do only two things and so on. Right? But just look if the sets overlap. Those who are in the intersection, they do both of those whether it's activity or they like this thing or just look what the key is telling you that each set represents. All right. So that's it for the Venn diagram. If you have benefited from the video, just drop a word to say thank you and share the video so others may benefit as well. And let me know if you want me to do a video on any particular topic. Right. So my scholars, I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves.